This is Danny with TriPoint Refrigeration. I'm here looking at a Hoshizaki KM1340 remote ice machine. Uh, we pulled this out of a customer's location. Um, they had been having problems with this machine for a very long time, worked with a bunch of different companies. Nobody could, I guess, figure out what was going on. Um, but it's really easy diagnosis. Unfortunately, the machine had to be replaced because of the problem. And so I just kind of wanted to explain and something that, that we look for when we're out in the field um, and something that our customers can be aware of on ice machines, especially Hoshizaki's. So, this, so what happened was this machine would ice up all the time. It was constantly icing up um, about twice a week and then it wouldn't make ice because all the ice was stuck inside of the evaporator. And so this is the top cover. This right here, these are the water distribution tubes. So the water comes through these tubes and flows down over the evaporator and that's where it makes ice. The problem is on this machine, if I pull this, these distribution tubes out, we can see here, this is where the water fills and this goes behind the evaporator. Pull those out and you start to look at this evaporator. See how this evaporator is really bowed out? And this one's really bowed out, so we pull these off. And you can see how bowed that evaporator is. And you can see how bowed this evaporator is. This evaporator is almost perfectly straight. This is what it should look like. And then this evaporator, again, and it's kind of hard to tell until you pull all these water diverters out and you can see how this one is also bowed. So what happens is when it's making ice, if the ice doesn't fall properly and it freezes up in there, ice is a, the strongest force on earth. And so as it freezes, it pushes these evaporators out and starts to bow out these evaporators. Once these evaporators become bowed, they're completely ruined. There's no way to fix that other than replacing the evaporators and they're incredibly expensive. So on a machine like this, to replace these three evaporators is almost the cost of a brand new machine. The reason that the ice machines will start bowing up is a few different things. Number one, dirty. You can see how much calcium buildup that we have on this machine. It's just, it never had a good filter system on it and it was never cleaned properly. Um, when we come out and clean machines like this, we take this all apart, we scrub it all real good and we have brushes that are specifically made by the manufacturer to get in here and scrub each one of these evaporators with a very specific brush. You can't get in there with any kind of um, like metal brushes or anything like that because you'll, you'll ruin this evaporator, but they, there's a very special nylon brush that we use to clean these. Um, and so that calcium will cause that ice not to fall off of the evaporator properly. Another reason is low water pressure or a water line that is not big enough. If the water line isn't big enough, we're not getting enough volume of water into the machine, that's what helps the machine harvest, harvest the ice. Um, and so that's something that we look for, is, is the water line big enough? Does it have a good filter system that is helping keep the machine clean? Is it being maintenance properly? Um, again, if it's not being maintenance um, at least semi-annually, and in some situations, depending on water quality, um, quarterly, then this machine will get really dirty and the ice won't be able to fall out of the evaporator and it'll start to ice up. What happens um, when it does start to ice up is, is when you go to dethaw it or after it's been trying, you'll get trying to, to make ice, you'll get sheets of thick ice that will fall down and then your ice your ice diverter, this the ice falls down here and hits, slides down and goes down a bend. Your ice diverter will start to break. And you can see how this ice diverter has started to break. And what happens is these little tines will break off real easy and they'll get down in the pump. They'll cause the pump to malfunction or they'll get through the pump. And as you can see, there's little pieces of these ice diverters down inside this evaporator. <laughs> Um, they'll get inside they'll get inside the distribution tube in here you can hear those rattling around in there those are pieces of plastic from this ice diverter that have 
that have gotten down to the pump because ice has fallen down and broken this diverter. So that can cause another big problem. Even if it, even if it hasn't warped your evaporators yet, that pump is incredibly expensive as well. So this is one of the reasons that we um, like to maintain ice chains, like to have them on a service plan where we can come out and clean the machine and keep this thing working for years and years to come. Uh, so if you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, our, we have offices in Lubbock, Texas and in Hutto, Texas, right outside of Austin. Our phone number is 512-651-4565. And I'm Danny with TriPoint Refrigeration. Have a great day.